Okay. Hello, everybody. I am the Lightning Turk, and welcome back to another 1914 Psych. <laughs> you would have thought. Um. I am the Lightning Turk, and welcome back to a 30 Kingdoms game. So, 30 Kingdoms is a wonderful game by Bytro. Um, it's it's medieval-esque. It's not necessarily... It's like early medieval, I would say. And it's got maps that take place in, you know, Westeros, in, <laughs> in uh, Northern Europe, and, you know, regions such as that. And it's more medieval fantasy than anything. It's pretty damn fun, so I was hoping we could start doing games on that, you know? Uh, so yeah, because they just recently had a hotfix, and they, they've been updating things and making them just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, this game is freaking sweet. So, uh, here's the game map. This is the, what was it? Let's see. Damn. It's the Europe game map. It's essentially Northern Europe with, um, let's see. It's like, it's got like a slice of Russia, and yeah, there we go. Oh, no you don't. Diplomacy. So it's it's essentially a slice of Russia, the Baltic region, the Hanseatic trade routes routes. Um, it's got some of uh, northern France and the entirety of the British Isles. It's just I like it a lot. I like what it looks like a lot, honestly. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's it's wonderful. I don't mean to sound like Trump. You know, it's it's beautiful. It's just it's absolutely gorgeous. Um. Yeah, so far it's it's got very little interest in terms of uh, people actually joining the game. However, if there were more people playing Thirty Kingdoms, it would be freaking sweet, honestly. Uh, so yeah, I'm over here in House Lightning Turk. We have a house system with populations of around fifty thousand per city, uh, depending on the amount of stuff you research. So within this game, it's essentially like Supremacy 1914 or Call of War or things of that nature, where, you know, you start out with a set amount of provinces, and the intent of the game is for you to finish with around 50% or more than 50% of the map. And at the current moment, I have, I just recently looked at it too, I have 5.1% of the map uh, taken over. Uh, San Paul is first with 6% of the map. So essentially, it's just all of our regions and houses fighting for control of the entirety of the region. So, yeah, it's it's pretty damn fun. So, I started out um with northern, I'm going to say northern Scotland, just just very northern Scotland with the capital in Dundee. And there's another uh, nation with the capital in Edinburgh. I don't know why that I don't know why they're split in half because that doesn't really represent accurate borders in my opinion, but I'm not sure. Like this this game isn't necessarily based on uh, accuracy of borders. So my first action when I got this little nation was to immediately start building troops where you have the option of building militia, scouts, archers, pikemen, etc. You start out with the ability to build militia once you build training grounds, which are just basic um, training locations. And the more you update your um, basically training location, you can build higher level units like scouts, archers, pikemen, uh, etc. So I'm going to build some militia there. And I'm going to actually repair that military academy. And now that we look at this, there are, um, you can build palisades, which are basically, basically like, uh, I'm going off of Supremacy 1914 here. They're like forts. Uh, the workshop is... It's such, uh, essentially, it's just things that'll help you uh, boost resources and resource distribution, which is pretty damn cool. We've got the uh, research tab up. Uh, resource tab. I'm sorry, not research tab. But yeah, we, we have a lot of stuff going on in this thing. And hopefully, I'd, I personally want to do like a basic guide to it once I understand more. But I'm pretty new at this game as well. Even though I'm on level 11, I've just been randomly just grabbing units and throwing them <laughs> throwing them at cities and things of that nature. So yeah, uh, our capital is in Dundee. I'm hoping to move it to Edinburgh because we, we're sort of, we're Scotland now basically. And my first action was to go north after having fixed my resource distribution uh, and take the little islands of basically, uh, I'm going to say Orkney. That's Orkney and then this is like um, the Faroe Islands, Faroe, Faroe, yeah, those, those islands, and then I took the Highlands over here, this was, <laughs> the Highlands province from EU4, but uh, yeah, pretty much, 
after having done all that, I continued building training grounds and just continued feeding forces into large armies. And the larger my armies got, the more capable I was of taking over territory below me. So that's that's pretty much what led me to invade... Um, what are these things? What are they called? Who are they? Otterburn. So yeah, I that led me to invade Otterburn, the house of Otterburn, and I pretty much shitted on him. His capital was in Edinburgh, and you know, having taking that, <laughs> taking that right off the bat in any sort of Vitro game just gives you a whole bunch of morale and resources to to be able to kill everything else in your way. And you know, I pushed forward with my thirteen thousand troops, uh, predominant predominant infant uh, militia there we go Promo predominantly militia and one cavalry unit uh, one scout unit basically and yeah pretty much my forces just pushed forward and then the rest of my forces I developed like a secondary army well tertiary in this case and you know I'm moving in to take Falkirk right now so hopefully I'll be able to take over this country before it's too late and I'll just push these troops forward so there's those two and then there's Kendall uh, Conniscliff and Brompton. I am butchering this. I am not. I am not British. I am. <laughs> I'm Turkish. And yeah, pretty much France right here. Kobe Gilmore. The house of Kobe Gilmore is just beautifully OP. I mean, this is just sexy. I like that he focused on taking the territories that France originally had, and I, <laughs> I appreciate that. And hopefully, he might go for uh, Luxembourg next. So Luxembourg is actually in the game, the House of Luxembourg, and it's pretty damn huge. So yeah. Aside from that, we got let's uh, the House of Paris. Yes, that's a thing. They they start out. They're actually uh, larger. They're like ten provinces, aren't they? From what I know, each each country starts out with ten provinces. Correct. Correct. And yeah, this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten most likely, or things of that nature. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Ten. So they, uh, these guys most likely had these provinces as well, and this most likely. So, yeah, Kobe Gil Corby, Corby Gilmore, I'm sorry. Corby Gilmore really kicked ass there. And, you know, moving up north, we have the House of San Paul. Self-explanatory, just OP as hell. I think his rank is like 99. He's, he's a pro at this. It's just, <laughs> it's easy as hell for him. And then we got the House of Breslau. We have the House of Kulm, the House of Stettin, ooh, that's cool, the House of Niedenberg, the House of, of Brest, <laughs> Kaunas, Riga, uh, Riga at the time, this is more or less around 1,000, so it's pretty much the Teutons who've taken over that, or 1,200, um, Seawall, 1,200, there we go, and then we got the House of Warrior, 0013 with lower Finland and he's kicking ass like he's already taken this guy down that's that's a house that's a regular house I think that's AI yeah that is, that is AI and then let's see Steven von takeover tack over that's sad uh he's he hasn't been doing much and then I'm not gonna Parma <laughs> Parma uh, as the house of mm, Dover 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 Dove? Yeah, that. Pretty much. I'm just going to call him the House of Oslo because he has Oslo. And he's most likely going to form something similar to Norway. So he's he's taken over the AI, most of it. And Sean Paul, San Paul, is, has taken over the southern tip of uh, Norway, which I can foresee that may turn into some form of conflict in the near future. So that's pretty much it for that. And, you know, we got Ireland over here. We got uh, Trolley. The House of Trolley and the the House of Tipperary and in the middle Mullingar. We got Waltham. That's a player name. <laughs> so London is taken over by a player. Is he active? I'm gonna say no. Nope, inactive. So yeah, pretty much. And Worcester. Worcester? Worse yeah, that. So uh I can foresee this is gonna be a pretty clean game, so I might just get into more of the um technical aspects of the game um but yeah for now i hope you guys enjoyed i'll come back with more videos since finals are over peace <laughs>